further, I am going to discuss with you the principle involved in the isometric projection. I have drawn a figure here where in the cube and whose body diagonal is perpendicular to be a plane of projection front we have drawn here. We have find this length, breadth and height, they are all equal. In case of a cube, in case of a cube, the actual dimensions, in case of a cube, the actual dimensions, length equal to breadth equal to height. Again, because these three are equally foreshortened, again you will find length equal to breadth equal to height. There is a constant proportionality between the actual dimension and the ISO dimension. The constant proportionality. It has been proved graphically as well as analytically. The constant of proportionality between them is 0 0.816. Is 0.816. That means the isometric length will be equal to 0.816 of actual length. Actual length. This is what we have here. Now, if you can observe all the three lines, you find you find here those three and those three lines L B H L B H we have L B and H they are actually 120 degrees to each other they are 120 degrees to each other equiangular 120 degrees to each other if I can draw here one horizontal line if I can draw here one horizontal line in this M horizontal line you find this angle 120 minus 90 is 30 degree angle again this angle is again a 30 degree that is a 30 degree angle consequently you find here with the horizontal with the horizontal this angle is a 30 degree angle 30 degree angle and this angle is also a 30 degree angle that is a 30 degree angle and that is the vertical line that is the vertical line now this length, breadth and height, they are all called as isometric axis, A-X-E-S, I'll, I'll just write here, isometric, isometric axis, isometric axis, plural, isometric axis. They follow the law 0.816. You can question me, sir, in objects, you know, always the object will not have lines that is parallel to length, length breadth and height. We have a cutting line, the inclined line, slant edges, etc. What to do? Now, in any figure, in any object, any object, if the lines are not parallel to this length, breadth, and height, those lines are called as non-isometric lines. They are called as non-isometric lines. For example, this is a non-isometric line, and this is a non-isometric line, and this is a non-isometric line. They are called as non-isometric lines. So they are called as non-isometric lines. They don't follow the law of 0.816. They may increase or they may decrease, but ends of the non-isometric line will be on the isometric path, on the isometric path. So we make a small conclusion. Isometric projection nothing but representing a given object in a three-dimensional manner, wherein whose body diagonal is purple to the plane of projection and the length, breadth and height, they have the proportion, they are all foreshortened, equally foreshortened, 0.816. If you give a problem, you have to multiply each and every actual dimension by 0.816 and prepare the answer proportionately, which is nothing but reduced dimension, reduced dimension, which is a laborious process because we have first decimal, second decimal, third decimal, accuracy is very difficult to get. Instead, I am going to explain to you a scale known as isometric scale. Isometric scale is used to convert the actual dimension to iso dimensions so that you can carry on with the answer without any mathematical calculation. The construction of isometric scale goes like this. The construction of isometric scale is very simple. The construction goes like this. You draw here one horizontal line. You draw here one more line at 45 degrees, 45 degree line. This is A, we have B, let me call this a C. I'll mention very clearly, angle ABC is 45 degrees, is 45 degrees. You draw one more line here, let me say DBC, angle DBC at an angle of 30 degrees, 30 degrees. One is 45 degrees, one is 30 degrees. You have a regular scale with you. Please mark on BA, 
actual measurement for example i'm just making an example let us say 10 mm 20 mm 30 mm 40 mm etc from those lines you draw here vertical line to perpendicular to bc that means you draw vertical line stop on bd draw vertical line stop on bd draw vertical line stop on bd like this you can stop on bd these are all drawn from the ba from ba you draw here a vertical line in this manner i can go this as 10 mm this is 20 mm this is 30 mm and this is 40 mm now the measurement on ba they're all actual scale actual measurement they're all actual measurement now for example b20 on b is actual whereas b20 and bd is isometric so b isometric bd gives you iso measurement bd gives you iso measurement measurement iso measurements now it is actually proved geometrically this has been proved all measurements made on bd they are 0.816 of ba it has been proved but not necessary that we should have a proof here but please with this construction with the trigonometric you can just just conclude that measurement made on bd they're all iso measurement measurement made on ba they're all actual measurements now how to make use of the scale so i haven't done the scale how to make use of the scale i'll just take one example let us say i just draw a length here not to worry how much length it is let me call this as bp let me call it bp this is an actual measurement how many millimeter let us say let us not worry about how many millimeter it is this actual measurement bp i wanted to convert into iso measurement so take the compasses measure bp mark bp here mark bp and pa take the with the compasses measure bp mark bp and ba from there you draw a vertical line you draw a vertical line stop on bd let me call this point as p1 so you measure bp1 now bp1 is isometric of bp so you can avoid all mathematical calculations when you want to convert actual measurement to isometric measurement so actual measurement is marked by ba draw a vertical line measure on bd to get the isometric measurement carry on with the answer with this you know with the use of the scale you can avoid all mathematical calculations because it has been proved the mathematically that measurements on bd are isometric measurements that is the bit 0.816 of the actual measurements which is on ba so by making use of scale by making use of scale you can do it faster the answers are faster and you can avoid the mathematical calculations i'm going to give you some more principle how to draw the isometric projections or isometric view isometric projections i'll draw i'll take some more examples to explain to you let us say i have here a lamina and let us i have here a lamina having length and breadth i have here a lamina in this manner rectangular lamina a rectangular lamina it has got length and then breadth just for example you can take length equal to 60 mm and then breadth the b the b equal to 40 mm just an example i have taken here how to draw this lamina in isometric projection very simple rule it is you draw here one horizontal line one horizontal line i'll just follow the same principle what i told you have to follow the same principle while drawing the entire figure draw here a vertical line draw here a vertical line and that's the vertical line and draw here a 30 degree line and a 30 degree line they're all fixed this is this angle is a 30 degree angle that is a 30 degree angle and that is also a 30 degree angle. that is also a 30 degree angle 30 degree angle you draw two 30 degree lines let me draw this lamina in the isometric figure vertically i just draw vertically right hand side i'm going to draw you measure this b 40 mm measure isometric 40 mm with the help of the scale you take 40 mm iso measurement let me say iso measurement b or i'll just make here 40 mm only but they are only for learning process i'm just indicating to you this is isometric 40 mm and measure vertically here isometric 60 mm since the opposite sides are parallel we can draw here 
30 degree parallel line you can draw here a vertical line a vertical line vertical line you find here this is a rectangular lamina a rectangular lamina drawn vertically right hand side the lamina is resting on B that is 40 mm I'd like to show you one more one more example if it is resting on what is called as L that is a length 60 mm let me show you left hand side let me show you left hand side is again a 30 degree line again here a 30 degree line let me show you left hand side vertically left hand side I'll show you instead of standing on 40 mm let it standing on 60 mm ISO 60 all the measurement I am representing the ISO 60 because you're in the learning stage you need not dimension them ISO 60 mm then draw here a vertical line a vertical line measure from here the 40 mm 40 mm draw again here 30 degree parallelness opposite sides are parallel I have drawn the parallel lines in the lamina opposite sides are parallel I have drawn the parallel lines this is what I have drawn left hand side rectangular lamina you can ask me sir how to draw when it is horizontal this is vertically right hand side standing on 40 mm vertically left hand side standing on 60 mm you can write left each other way you want you can do but let me tell you how to draw horizontally how to draw horizontally I'll explain, I'll explain here how to draw horizontally I'll draw here horizontal vertical line let me draw here a 30 degree line and a 30 degree line 30 30 degree line I'll draw here these are all ISO 30 degree lines if you take L here you take B here if you take L here you can take B here which is the way you want you can take for example I take here 60 mm depending upon situation you can change this is 40 mm ISO 60 ISO 40 I have drawn since opposite sides are parallel you draw here 30 degree parallel line you draw here 30 degree parallel line they intersect these two lines are parallel these two lines are parallel they intersect here horizontally the lamina is ready let me proceed further let me say that it has got some thickness I have drawn here the front tube if you say this is front tube if, if you say this is front tube let me draw top view let me draw top view it is a slab 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 having some kind of a thickness some kind of a thickness let the thickness be 20 mm for example it is nothing but block a rectangular block thickness having 20 mm thickness how to draw in this case since we have drawn here this way the thickness will go the other way the perpendicular the thickness will be drawn in this manner 20 mm so you take ISO 20 ISO 20 ISO 20 ISO 20 D for me then draw here again parallel same box you can draw here parallel draw that means 20 mm back I have drawn the box ready now the slab is ready finally if when you want to show the final figure this is how the SLAB slab I'm just indicating the slab or a box it is a slab or I can also say as a box ready for me LBT thickness you can just see thickness you can just see I am just showing the one which are visible I'm just showing the one edges which are visible which are not visible is not shown here which are not visible which are not shown here we have an advantage in isometric position the lines which are visible should be drawn with a full line the lines which are not visible need not show by dotted line need not show by dotted line since you are a learning stage I'll just give you one simple example to imagine how the entire box looks like with a dotted line but no need to draw no need to draw this dotted line 20 mm 20 mm 20 mm if you want to repeat the same type here thickness here because this is standing on L so we can have here 20 mm thickness 20 mm thickness 20 mm thickness 20 mm thickness repeat the same box at the back repeat the same L and B box at the back by drawing parallels by drawing 30 degree parallels ready so what is visible you can see here that's what is L and B front face is visible L and B the front face is visible thickness 20 mm 20 mm 20 mm again back at the back it is this row the one which is visible this again 20 mm this is 20 mm I don't want to draw the dotted lines not necessary not necessary that's so 
the box can be drum now how about horizontal this is horizontal l and b have taken here i repeat once again though i am indicating because you in the learning stage no need to dimension never dimension them take all measurement here from bd all measurements are taken from bd and the mark from bd and the mark i saw measurements you should take here now here let me take the thickness 20 mm draw here 20 mm height all isometric 20 mm i saw 20 mm i saw 20 mm repeat the top box by drawing parallels repeat the top box by drawing parallels in this manner so the box is ready the slab is ready this is actually 20 mm this is 20 mm i saw 20 mm if you want to complete the figure so this is what the hp pencil the construction lines drawn on each pencil uh, you need not erase them but leave it as it is the final figure only shown with hp pencil the answer with hp pencil the answer shown in this manner that's what you have the final figure horizontally drawn every time you can indicate here this is 30 degree angle this is also 30 degree angle you can indicate that angle you can indicate the angle both the sides can indicate them this again a 30 degree angle that's a fixed angle for the with the horizontal isometric picture as i have discussed the entire principle here principle here draw right left right left is a vertical vertical i just took one simple box a rectangular box having thickness 20 mm how to draw vertically right hand side standing on 40 mm vertically left hand side standing on 60 mm either way we can do and horizontally how to draw horizontally how to draw i have given in, in in procedure how to complete the answer how to complete the answer how to represent them in isometric projection how to represent a rectangle block in different ways in isometric projection now we will proceed to learn certain things sir uh, you can ask me sir sir it is very easy to draw because opposite is parallel you can continue how about if you have a pentagon hexagon heptagon octagon how to draw them how to draw them when you have a different pentagon let me discuss with you further some more types of a principle that is involved here let us say a pentagon how to draw the pentagon in isometric projection just be say a sign let us say about 30 mm a 30 mm a pentagon lamina how to draw let me draw here a given pentagon a 30 mm sign you can simply draw here the pentagon lamina which is 30 mm sign here i have drawn the pentagon i have drawn the pentagon let me just name it as a b c d and then e <coughs> a b c d e. 30 mm pentagon how to draw this lamina in isometric projection how to draw this lamina in isometric projection either vertically or horizontally how to draw this let me discuss with you the procedure very simple procedure draw here horizontal line draw here a vertical line vertical line you enclose the entire pentagon in a box by drawing bond horizontal vertical lines by drawing horizontal vertical line enclose the entire pentagon in a box in this manner enclose enter in this manner the box then you can measure this you can measure the length and breadth of the box you can measure the length as well as the breadth of the box to measure the length and breadth of the box very easily with the compasses you can measure them uh, the length and breadth of the box that will give you rectangular measurement rectangular measurements rectangular measurements now you can you measure the length you measure the width draw here the given rectangle there is a rectangle and just explain to you vertically right hand side draw the rectangle draw the rectangle in this manner this angle is understood it is a 30 degree line that is a 30 degree line you measure the length convert isometric mark here measure the width convert isometric mark here and complete by drawing parallel is complete them now take the divider or the compasses please measure from the corner the a measurement from the corner b measurement both are same whether from the corner to a corner to b both are same you please take the actual measurement convert to isometric 
then mark here one point here mark here one point here which will be a and that will be b now from the corner measure e and measures both are same convert asymmetric mark here e and one is c one is e one is c and then e then from the middle at midpoint this is a point d there is a point d point d so we were able to have a b c we were able to have here a this point is b c d e join them in order join them in order we have a b then b c then c d then d e and then e e this is how we should draw a pentagon given pentagon now let us see let us enclose here i just went on isometric path in locating a b c d e now for example if you ask me sir can i measure b c actual convert isometric and check here b c here with isometric it doesn't it doesn't match if it tallies you are wrong because b c is a line which is a non isometric line this is not parallel to length breadth and height of the iso iso principle so this is b c i did not measure b c in transfer b c here i went on isometric path locating a b c d e so you find here c d is compressed d is more and e a so there are non asymmetric lines sometimes they be more sometimes they be less depends upon the situation that's so you should draw you should draw you can also draw if you want this horizon you can draw similarly if you want left hand side if you want you can draw repeat the same procedure the left hand side the pentagonal lamina can be left hand side how to draw horizontally how to draw horizontally again you prepare here the rectangle block that is a pentagonal rectangular block you prepare here that is the length and breadth length and breadth this is length convert to isometric then breadth convert to isometric draw this is as usual 30 degree lines 30 degree lines measure a convert to isometric get the point a get the point b that will be c this midpoint is d this is e get all the points that we have here a b c d and then e so we have a b b c c d d e and then e a and then e a this is a pentagon lamina drawn horizontally pentagon lamina drawn horizontally hey, i have a pentagon prism you can just see a face this is a pentagon face is also a pentagon face you can see and drawn like this uh, the lamina here if it is a prism i have to i have, if a length a prism has got a length if it is a prism from all the sides all the points you draw <coughs> 30 degree lines in this manner you draw 30 degree lines in this manner in this manner go back dep depending upon the that is length given depending upon the length given you move backward repeat the same pentagon you get the prism ready if this is in this manner horizontally if you want the height you can take the height from each and every corner take the height from each and every corner and you can draw the top pentagon repeat the prism like prism so if you add the height it will become prism this is standing on the rectangular face this is standing on the base you can just make out it is like this like this we can make out and this is like this you can make out so pentagonal lamina could be drawn in similarly we can also draw the hexagon <coughs> similarly you can draw the hexagon hexagon is drawn in this manner you can just see here if i have a hexagon to be drawn draw the hexagon again let us see a 30 mm side the hexagon 30 mm side side equal to 30 mm 30 mm let me call this as corners a b c d e f a b c d e f we can enclose the entire hexagon in a box by drawing horizontal and vertical by drawing horizontal and then vertical can enclose this box like this 
Now we can measure the entire length and the width. The entire length that we can measure from here to here, the length, and here to here, we can measure the breadth rectangle. So similarly, you can draw here hexagon, horizontally, vertically. Now I'm showing vertically right hand side, vertically right hand side, I'm just showing it to you. Draw the rectangle box, take the measurement and draw here the rectangle box. So this is isometric length, isometric width, isometric, iso length, iso. Don't take here to here directly, you should come through isometric scale. Convert isometric measurement and come here. Now, from the corner to A, from the corner to B, from the corner to D, from the corner to E, all are same. You measure with the divider or the compasses, corner to A. Convert isometric. Mark here, one, from here, two, three, and then four points. C and F in the middle, the entire height, make the, measure the middle, locate the point here, C and then F. Six points are located. Two measurements will give six points. This is A, B, C, D, E, F. That's where the hexagon is drawn. Hexagonal lamina are drawn. I just am drawing hexagonal lamina in isometric projection. Hexagonal lamina in isometric projection. I have drawn right hand side. Similarly, you can draw left hand side. If you want, you can draw. Similarly, left hand side you can draw. How to draw the hexagon uh, horizontally? How to draw the hexagon lamina horizontally? Horizontally, how to draw? Draw again a vertical horizontal line. Draw here the box. The enclosed box. You, you have the box with you. You take the box and draw them. Draw them in this manner, parallel. Now, measure as usual. Measure this from the corner measurements. Locate here A from the corner B. From the corner, look at the point here, look at the point here, this is D, this is E, midpoint here C, midpoint here is F, look at them. Then join them in order. Hexagon drawn in isometric projection, a lamina, horizontally drawn, horizontally drawn. This simple method, enclose it in a box and drawing it in point vertically, horizontally. This is drawn vertically, this is drawn horizontally. You can make it hard, simple principle. But from actual to ISO drawing, from actual to ISO drawing, you should follow all ISO measurements. I'm not going to dimension this. Initially one or two I showed you. Now I don't dimension them in all ISO dimension. And the angles are understood. Every time please mention the angle between this angle is a 30 degree angle. This is a 30 degree angle. You please mention them every time when you take the angle. Again, this is a 30 degree angle. No need to mention the dimensions, please. No need to mention the dimensions. All the dimensions are ISO dimensions which are less than actual dimensions by 0.816. Any doubt of the procedure? This is, I think, a simple procedure. How to draw? I just give an example and a very simple it is. Please thoroughly follow. A rectangle lamina how to draw vertically, right hand side, left hand side, horizontally. When you add thickness, how, how to add the thickness? Dot line, one example I showed you. No need to draw the dot line. How to draw the final figure with HP pencil. Take a pentagon and how it is, the varies. So the non-isometric lines, CD, they don't, they don't tally. If you measure CD, go to isometric scale, come back and check, no. It doesn't tally because this is a non-asymmetric non line. I just followed the isometric path, but non-asymmetric line at the end to end is a non-asymmetric line. This is about the pentagon and hexagon. I gave you an example. Now I'll proceed to explain to you about representing a circular lamina in isometric. Take an example of a 60 mm diameter, a circular lamina. How to represent an isometric? The circular lamina appears like an like ellipse. It will be an ellipse in isometric. You enclose the given circle by drawing horizontal vertical line. You will agree with me, the D diameter, that will be equal to 60 mm only. Dimension, length and breadth will be 60 mm only. The method which I am going to explain to you, to draw the ellipse circle, which will be in the form of ellipse in isometric, 
the method which I am going to explain is known as 4 arc method. 4 arc method, also known as 4 center method. Also known as 4 center method. There is one more method known as 8 point method, which I am not going to teach you. It is not under the purview for discussion. I am not going to teach you. I will just teach you one 4 arc method or 4 center method. Very simple it is. I will show you both. Uh, vertically and horizontally how to draw here draw the horizontal line and the vertical line show you vertically right hand side you measure the D D is equal to 60 mm draw here the D and D box draw here D and D box in this manner draw here D and D box this is nothing but the isometric 60, isometric 60, this is a 30 degree line. That is a 30 degree line. I am showing it on the right hand side. This is like a parallelogram. You draw here one diagonal in this manner. You draw one more diagonal in this manner. You find one is a longer diagonal, one is a shorter diagonal. The procedure, procedure to draw the ellipse will start now. From the ends of the shorter diagonal to the opposite midpoints, you please draw the lines. From the ends of the shorter diagonal, from the ends of the shorter diagonal to the opposite midpoints, you please draw the lines in this manner. Draw the lines in this manner from the ends of the shorter diagonal. In turn, they intersect in the longer diagonal at two points. At two points, let me name this as shorter diagonal here, the shorter diagonal here, then here. So let me call this as one, two, three, four centers, four centers. Now, with this uh, center, adjust your compasses, draw an arc here tangentially. With this as uh, two as center, again adjust the radius here, draw an arc here tangentially to the box. Two arcs are over. Again, three as center, increase the radius, you connect these two arcs. Next, 4 as center, increase the radius, you connect these two arcs. Your ellipse is ready. Your ellipse is ready. Just to wanted to indicate center and radius. Center 1, that is the radius. Center 2, that is the radius. You need not show all this thing. Center 3, no, that is the radius for center 3, that is the radius. Again, 4, we have the radius. 4, that means center 1 or 1. Center 2, 1 arc, center 3, join them, center 4, join them. This is the 4 arc method. Same thing if you want, you can do left hand side. If you have, you can do same construction, you can do left hand side also. How to draw the ellipse horizontally? How to draw the ellipse horizontally? Very simple it is. Draw here the D and D box horizontally. Draw here. D and D box horizontally. This is D, this is 60 mm, 60 mm, 30 degree, 30 degree. 60 mm, 60 mm, 30 degrees, 30 degrees you draw here. Now, this is the shorter diagonal, this is the longer diagonal. From the ends of the shorter diagonal, draw lines to opposite midpoints. Draw lines to opposite midpoints from the ends of the shorter diagonal. Draw lines to opposite midpoints from the ends of shorter diagonal. You get on the longer diagonal two points. One is here, one is here. Again, let me name it as one, two, three, and then four. Four. Now, one as center, with help of compasses, you draw an arc here tangentially. Two as center, then draw an arc here tangentially. Three as center, increase the radius, you connect these two arcs. 4 as center, increase the radius, you connect these two arcs. Ellipse is ready, drawn horizontally. If it is a cylinder, if it is a cylinder, you know, if you have a ellipse here, if you have an ellipse here, do you follow me? Go back 30 degrees. Go back 30 degrees in this manner and reproduce the same construction at the back. It becomes a cylinder. It becomes a cylinder horizontally. Again, if it is a cylinder, you get here one ellipse at the top, and at the bottom, take the height, draw here ellipse at the at the bottom. That's what we can draw vertical. That means if you take the height 
draw ellipse it becomes a cylinder vertically if you take the height draw ellipse horizontally either way we can draw adding the length adding the length to it we can the both the ends are ellipse construction remains same so we can draw cylinder vertically cylinder horizontally you can draw them this angle being a, a 30 degree angle so this is how the ellipse is drawn vertically horizontally with the four or method four center method whenever you want to represent the circular whenever you want to represent circle this is the procedure to draw uh, the ellipse one more method eight point method i'm not dealing with you not necessary at this point of time about prehand the eight point method prehand not necessary to be shown in this manner